Disney has put out a lot of bad content lately, and a lot of news has released about CEOs changing from Chappic to Iger again, and now they've got another disaster on their hands because Strange Worlds is going to lose them roughly $147 million, and the ratings for it are abysmal. I have a few things to show off, but before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and to the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or support the channel via YouTube memberships. All of the links are in the description. And of course, I do really appreciate all of the support. So this is a Deadline article. It says Strange World to lose $147 million. Why theatrical was the best decision for the doomed tune, not Disney Plus, as Bob Iger takes over CEO from Bob Chappick. It sounded like leading up to this release, it was going to lose them money. First of all, they didn't really market it. Second of all, any news surrounding this movie was overshadowed by the CEO takeover. And... It just didn't look like a good movie, and now that it has released, it is doing terribly for them. It says, death taxes and films that bomb at the box office. I've had to talk a lot recently about box office films bombing, but it says, such is life in Hollywood, and at the end of the day, the estimated 147 million loss, which is expected for Strange World, isn't spilt milk to cry over for the entertainment conglomerate. The bombing of the Thanksgiving family title with $28 million for a global opening in the face of Netflix's theatrical experiment with Glass Onion, with $13.3 million over five days, has prompted discussions this weekend as to what's really prime for theatrical and what's really ideal for streaming. I don't think that this movie would have done good if it was on Disney+. Plus. I just think this movie overall was a failure. It is truly woke record setting. It is a climate change film with a gay teen protagonist and there's even a disabled dog. This is a great example of what people don't want to see. People want to be entertained, not be preached at, and that's what the content Disney is releasing is doing. This movie deserved to fail and it did. I'm all for seeing things like inclusive in movies, but this film was as many things that they could throw into a pot as possible, hoping that it would cook into a beautiful stew, and it turned into a pile of shit. That is what this movie turned out to be. They really thought if they threw everything at the wall in this film that it would stick, and it didn't. I don't think if this went on to Disney Plus, it would have done well. Obviously, it didn't do well as a theatrical film. I just think that they should have scrapped this movie early on and saved themselves some money and embarrassment. It's also important to note that they had a five-day weekend when releasing this film because, of course, it's Thanksgiving weekend. So, a lot of people are at home. They're bored, they're trying to relax, and going to the theaters is something that previously a lot of people did. Unfortunately for Disney, though, they just couldn't capitalize on this great weekend that they had. But clearly it is the content that is in this film that has done terribly for them because going over to Rotten Tomatoes, the audience score is abysmal for this movie. As you can see, the verified audience score is a 61%, and of course, Rotten Tomatoes puts the verified before the all audience, because usually uh, the verified audience score is much higher than the all audience. In this case, it is, but they can basically pick and choose what reviews and ratings are going to towards the score, but the all audience paints a very different picture because it is sitting at a 37% with over a thousand ratings. So this movie is not doing good. People are saying they didn't like it. People are not showing up to even see it. Overall, I do think that this movie is a massive disaster for them. The critic score also isn't as high as you would think. It's sitting at a 74%. I honestly would expect it to be like a 85 to a 90, so that's also still not great for them. 
but going to the ratings, let's read just a couple of the audience reviews. A one out of five, the first review here. I can't take it anymore with Disney. This is so bad. A half star. The plot was really bad. My child couldn't relate to what the show was trying to explain. Kid asked a lot of questions and then asked to leave. We lasted about 15 to 20 minutes. Really bad. What is going on at Disney? This is the problem with a film like this is that it is rated uh, PG. It is you know, for kids and family. It's got the tag kids and family on it. It's something that they want you to bring your children to see, but they're putting all of these very deep adult-centered messages behind it. Kids are going to ask questions they're not going to understand, and then people are not going to bring their children to see it, especially when adults are going, you know what, let me check the ratings on something like Rotten Tomatoes. I don't want to waste a bunch of money going to see a bad movie and then they see this. Animated Disney movies back in the 90s and early 2000s, yes, had adult messaging behind them, but it wasn't to the point where it ruined the experience for the child. There were some jokes and some innuendos in the films that if you watched it back as an adult now, you'd go, wow, I did not pick up on that when I was a kid or a, a teenager, but now I do. And it's funny, but this movie had everything thrown at it, from the plot to the characters, and it just ended up being a mess. People are saying things like one out of five. So focused on making a statement about a thousand different things, they forgot to make a good movie. This is a running theme with Disney lately, is they are so focused on the messaging, the statements, the narratives that they can push with their entertainment that it doesn't end up being entertainment anymore and people are getting sick and tired of it. People are starting to go on social media, go on things like Rotten Tomatoes, and are fighting back against this awful content they're releasing. As this Vulture article says, it grossed a paltry 11.9 million in wide release in North America and only 18.6 million when you count the five-day holiday weekend window, and this movie had roughly $180 million in budget. So as you can see, this is a massive disaster for Disney, and it's no surprise, it is a terrible movie with a terrible plot, awful characters, it is filled to the brim with messaging, and they completely missed adding anything entertaining to this film, and they deserve to lose $147 million with this film. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.